आदर्श तिवारी सेकेंड ईयर अंडर ग्रेजुएट मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट सो यू एडवाइस अस टू हैव अ पर्पजलेस एमलेस लाइफ बट इफ वील नॉट एम फॉर एनी थिंग देन हाउ विल आई क्रैक माई एग्जाम्स in your young days you too prepared for exams like mba itj civil services etc but now you say that having aims is no good aren't you contradicting yourself adarsh living an aimless purposeless life is the ultimate thing hmm? that's the goal that's the goal however given we are we cannot realize that goal instantaneously if that could be done if instantaneous liberation were possible this moment wonderful have it go right away for it so purposelessness is the ultimate state beyond all states that one aspires for but here is the contradiction what is the state one aspires for <coughs> a state in which there is no purpose no aim and therefore no aspiration so what's your aspiration to come to a point of freedom from aspirations what's the desire then you must have to reach a point where you have exceeded all desires what is the aim that you must carry to set aims in a way that you come to a point of aimlessness there is a difference between ends and means purposelessness is the end purposefulness is the means hmm? thoughtlessness is the end thoughtfulness is the means desirelessness is the end right desire is the means hmm? actionlessness is the end right action is the means silence is the end right word is the means if you do not have the right word what will take you to silence or if you are so tremendously gifted that you can at the drop of a hat come to absolute silence all by yourself then nothing like it unfortunately that is not possible for most people even to come to silence most people require the aid of the right word that right word is also called as the holy word to come to desirelessness most people will first of all require to cultivate the right desires 
to come to a point in life where there is no goal left most people will firstly require to set right goals for themselves and that's the difference between right goal and wrong goal right desire and wrong desire right word and wrong word that's the only way you can differentiate between right and wrong the right is that which will take you beyond itself the right will enable you to exceed it transcend it the long will the wrong will keep you confined to itself that which you enter never to emerge out is wrong for you hmm? the wrong is like walking into a jail the right is like walking over a bridge get the difference you walk into a jail only to remain confined right and you step over a bridge and very soon you have you find that you have crossed over the right is that which enables you to cross over the wrong welcomes you and then you are trapped shut firmly in the gates are closed no freedom no escape so you are asking but you must have targeted clearing those exams that you did yes of course i targeted but now you know the difference between target and target right you must know what you are targeting you must know what is it within you that wants to achieve something rule of thumb that which you want to achieve for yourself would be like a jail that in which there is a larger purpose a bigger vision involved would be like a bridge before you take the next step ask yourself what is it in front of me a trap or a bridge getting it so there are quite a few exams that i might have cleared but if you see unfortunately those institutions generally require you to take up specific professions or work of a definite kind a work within a narrow spectrum i think i can be satisfied that my work does not fall within the spectrum dedic dictated by uh, the institutions i have been through i have not allowed anything to act as a jail for me i walked in and i walked out i'm thankful to those institutions i learned quite a few important lessons 
at the same time i have not allowed any institution to hold me captive i'm not doing what a typical itn does i'm not doing what a typical i am pass out does yes i did prepare for the civil service examination i did clear the examination but when i found that things aren't going to suit me as they are i resigned are you getting it so probably i use them as bridges otherwise it is quite possible to get used by the institutions you come from to be enslaved by the targets that you set one says this is the target that i set now i have achieved it <laughs> how do i exceed it now there is so much investment i have put in how do i go beyond it now did i come to this point only to go beyond this point it appears absurd so people then are held hostage by the targets that they achieve reminds me of the zen saying it says once you have reached the top of the hill keep climbing there is another one that probably says that the climb begins after you have reached the top of the hill do not allow the summit to declare a full stop to your evolution It doesn't matter how high the hill is it will have a summit and the summit is the limit of the hill it cannot offer you any height beyond its summit once you reach the summit begin the next climb begin the real climb hmm? no point settling down on the hill top maybe you can rest for a while there is some maggy point there fine chill Hmm? have some juice collect your breath and then move on move on charayveti charayveti what i am what i am thank you so much you gave me so much i shall be tremendously grateful but you are not what i am born for there is something far higher than institutional sanction or institutional certification that i'm looking for mine is a very long road several institutions are there along the way Hmm? and they are all beautiful and grand institutions let me be there for a while let me humbly accept what they can offer me and then charayveti hmm keep moving